You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. Hey, what's going on everybody? Kenan here and it is time to answer some questions from our Patreon supporters. If you guys want to have some questions answered, are you alright there, babe? Yeah, Did that you get was... kind of hit with that fur? Was that rude? Well, you just could have held it for oh, me I'm for sorry, a minute. sweetheart. It's okay, it was just a light leaf. A little tap? Yeah. Let's get going. Keep going. Let's go. Alright, anyway, so um, if you guys are interested in having some questions um, answered, uh, you can always become a Patreon supporter and we'll read these questions off live like we're doing right now. So we got a couple questions here. Oh, and of course, oh no, oh no, she's making a mess. I got to get a better watering situation for these guys. Okay, first question involves water, which is pretty good because um, I needed to fill this back up and clean it out. Rainy Parker, our good friend Rainy Parker, she's always hanging around there on the Patreon and on the channel. She asks, or she rather says, <clears throat> recently she went to a zoo and when visiting the Galapagos tortoises, <laughs> that's what we're doing here, uh, she noticed they were asleep with their heads under the water. Is that usual behavior? Now, it turns out that we can actually answer this question, but it also turns out that my, my beloved, me? Yeah, you. Ah, yes. Didn't you have a similar question you asked me a little while, like maybe a couple years ago? It was a couple started? years ago when yeah. I, I didn't understand the behavior or know. Right. Way back when I used to not even know the difference between a turtle and a tortoise. Wow. So but I've learned ago. so much. Um, but yeah, you were away and my mother was here. People like to see you. Oh, they do? Yeah, you know. Oh, hi. When everyone. you're talking, you might as well be seen. Uh, my mom was here and she always thinks these guys look thirsty because, I mean, let's face it, they're pretty dry and they always look thirsty. She likes to feed people and give them drinks. So. She, she likes to feed people. We call these the people, by the way. Yeah. They're, they're not tortoises, they're the people. I definitely, yeah, they're the people. So, um, I had, uh, we pulled the, the hose down. And I said, oh, this is how Kenan does it. He just leaves it in this thing. And then we walked around and checked on the other people. And then when we came back, the hose was shooting at Nostradamus, who's okay. not a galop. Nope, there he is there though. There's Nas. You know, he's one of the bigger ones. And it was shooting right at him. And his head was slumped down into the puddle. Okay. And I got so nervous that I was, I thought he died. I thought I killed him. And it was the first time, it was the first time that I was watching your animals. Yes, yeah, so it was a big deal. I was like, oh my God, Kenan's gonna kill me. Cause they, they know that's my Nas. favorite tortoise. I love Nostradamus. Uh, and then, I don't, I don't know if I called you, I had told you later, but then I think I saw he was, you know, his throat was moving. That's right, well he was drinking. So <laughs> that was a very long story. Thank you so much. I that was nice. Long -winded You're sometimes. beautiful, I love you I'm so very much. Stop being condescending. Oh I'm not being condescending. You need a little backstory. Yeah, we got some backstory. Very good, now that you guys have sat through that backstory, uh, Back let's, let's get it going on here. So what Kate witnessed is something that a lot of new tortoise keepers will witness. Um, so I'm gonna talk about that. Um, when tortoises drink, they tend to put their entire heads underwater to drink and they can be there for quite a long time and in fact I would always tell people when I used to do reptile shows when they, when they were getting a baby tortoise off me if it was the first tortoise I always said hey by the way if you see it with its head underwater and uh, it's been under there for like 10 minutes don't freak out it's drinking most likely now they also, especially galops and aldabras, they like to make use of freshwater puddles and mud holes a lot. Now, just because they're land animals doesn't mean that they uh, don't enjoy a good soak or a good submersion in water. And being that they're reptiles, they have very slow metabolisms. They don't have to breathe as much as a warm-blooded animal to maintain their body, uh, the blood and oxygen. Uh, oxygen in their blood rather. So they can hold their breath for quite a long time. Now, I've had a situation, this will blow you away, Kate, where we had, uh, I had got a story from, uh, of a black mountain tortoise that fell into a pool. It sunk to the bottom of the pool. Was there for at least an hour, <gasps> okay? Owner sees the turtle, tortoise in the, in the bottom of the pool, dives in, pulls it out, and it is just lethargic. It's not doing much, it's, it's just laying around. There's actually a way that you could do CPR in a turtle or tortoise. And what that involves is, is it involves moving the front legs 
When you push the front legs in, you pull the neck out. Then you push the neck in and pull the legs out, and it expels water. Wow. Well, what do you know? This animal survived an hour underwater. So they are amazing. And it kind of makes sense because every once in a while they may uh, hit it or be unfortunate enough to be trapped in a watery situation and they might not be able to get out quick enough so they have to be able to hold their breath a long time. Now, what you saw Rainy was most likely just some Galapagos tortoises enjoying a full soak in a mud puddle or a water hole. Look at this. Look at how Socrates just has to get by. Oh, look at, oh, you're getting a little annoyed, huh? Look at this behavior here. This is crazy. Are you gonna bite my girl? Get out of there. She's just frustrated because Socrates is on her. So what I'm gonna do is help Socrates out. See, this is the trouble you get into sometimes. There you go, Socks. Good thing I was on hand. We wouldn't want these animals flipped over. Oh, yeah, now, she's, look at her, she's really a jerk. Well, it's Gosh. hot, you know, she might she's probably be hot. The Yep. She wants some water. We're talking about all this water. She's, well, she's I'm sure she's thirsty. I am trying to do that. Let's do this. Here's another Pull it off. Behavior. Pull it off. Watch this. She you. loves a soaking. Woo, she loves to cold. be sprayed. See that? We'll cool her down. So what I do is I just pretty much empty out the water every couple of days and fill it back up so that they have nice a nice bath. But the funny thing about Darwin is she likes to walk around the other side and just get involved in the mud pit that happens when the water kind of overflows. I think she's nervous to go up in that. She kind of is. It's kind of funny. She goes halfway up, but she rarely goes all the way. Whereas the two smaller tortoises like to go up and over into the uh, watering hole there. But anyhow, Rainy, I hope that answers your question. We do have another question I'm going to read. You know, I think uh, that's how they uh, used to do CPR on the people, too. They would pump their legs. Would they really? Yeah, because it forces your diaphragm to move. And um, basically, tortoises do not have a diaphragm. Mm. So the act of them walking actually helps them force air in and out of their lungs. Can you believe that? So they, you know, they, they breathe a lot less often than we do. But they breathe more efficiently when they move. So uh, they've got to be able to move their heads in and out. Look at this. Look at, look at her little dance. She's doing a little rain dance, everybody. See that? <laughs> Basically, Rainy, these guys, they love a good soaking. It's so important to hydrate your tortoises. You want to make sure that these guys are, are kept nice and hydrated. They should have fresh water always available to them. And if you see them, it's, you know, when you're dealing with a large tortoise like this, come on in here, babe. You raising your hand? You yeah, I have a question. I don't want to interrupt you, so I'm uh, raising my hand. That's funny. You made me nervous like the battery was dying or something. No. Just blurt it out, huh? I'd like you to finish your thoughts. But my question was, how long, you may have answered this, but how long can they go without water? So uh, like when well, my mom's coming over and she's nervous that, yeah. oh, they look so thirsty. How long can they go without water? Well, that's a good, that's a great, great question. And it actually, uh, again, with this species, it's pretty incredible because the, the reason these tortoises were so prized, the, the Aldabras and the Glops were so prized for the sailors, when they would go to the Aldabra Atoll, they would load up tons of these giant tortoises into the ship's hold and they would have fresh meat for their long seafaring voyages. Same thing with Galapagos tortoises. They would just collect them in mass and put them down there. And the reason being is they'd have fresh meat because what do we know about turtles and tortoises? They don't need to eat a lot and they don't need to drink. Now, that's a survival tactic that these cold-blooded reptiles actually have. So what happens is, um, to answer your question, this tortoise, if it was healthy, okay, and there was a drought, and the drought lasted about a year, it is possible that this animal could go one year without drinking. Wow. That being said, it's not the best thing for the tortoise. Right. People misunderstand and think that's something that the animals need. And that's not it. It's a survival tactic that only the strongest are able to achieve. In other words, only the healthiest, only the strongest tortoises could survive that long without eating or without actually drinking. So it's so, almost like a form of torture if you're not. Yeah, you yeah. would never want to do that to your animal. You always provide fresh water. You always give them food, the proper diet. You know, these animals are eating specific weeds and vegetation in their habitat that lends itself 
they've adapted to eat it and it lends themselves to being able to get water out of what they're actually eating. Uh, I believe the term is preformed water. I could be wrong. It's not metabolic water because metabolic watering is where you're actually taking water out of your own body. Uh, this is preformed water. It's water that is, exists in a plant that the animal then eats and gets the water. Now, she's gonna eat, she's gonna get a lot she of water is. if she bites that. Yeah, I think Nas is looking for a puddle too. Yeah, Nas definitely likes puddles. Uh, and the other cool thing, so it's talking about tortoises and adaptations. Come on over here and look at Nas's face. Here's a really cool uh, adaptation for the dry atolls that these guys live on. I'm gonna scratch them and get them to come out. You notice how his nose is kind of pointy right here? Kind of got a little bit of a pointier nose, okay? So when you look at it from the top, you can kind of see that this guy's nose just tapers into a point. And the reason it tapers into a point is because on the islands they're from, there's little to no fresh water at all. Mm. Uh, it's basically nothing more than a glorified um, atoll. It's an, it's an island and atoll is basically the tops of coral reefs um, and limestone that are just about exposed from the, uh, from the um, surface of the water. So the way they get their water is when it rains. And when it rains, water collects in the tiny little coral pockets, the little tiny fissures of rock. Well, in order for them to get uh, to, to exploit that water, they dip their little noses in and they can suck the water into their nasal passage and then they put it into their throats. So they're able to use their nose like a straw cool. and actually just suck it up. Now people will think that an elephant drinks with its nose. That's not true. An elephant actually puts its nose down into the water, its trunk in, pulls water up, and then puts the water in its mouth where it can then drink it. So they are a little bit different, but these guys pull it in and then put it down their throat uh, and use it like a straw. So that's pretty cool. A uh, little bit of learning we're doing today. I love this kind of stuff. Also, I got to twist this so we don't um, keep running off the water. Okay. Sure we're just going to keep an eye on these. You know, I got my, my toes exposed, so I know what Darwin's going for. Yep, you gotta look out. I know. All right, so that's all good. Gonna get some boots. Darwin's stretching out right there. We love to give these guys some exercise. So, uh, okay, Rainy, there you go. Your question should be answered right now. There's my big girl, Darwin. And um, yes, so don't worry. They like to soak and put their heads underwater. Uh, and it's just a cool way to stay cool. All right, everybody, there you have it. Another question answered. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm Cannon. That's Kate. Hi. Hi. Bye. Yeah, bye. And uh, if you guys have questions, go to patreon.com slash camcannon. All your contributions help keep this channel rolling. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we got more videos all over the place. Oh, by the way, on Patreon, we've got exclusive content, videos you'll see nowhere else. So go check us out over there, and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and the Camp Cannon Army channel for more Camp Cannon action from everywhere. All right, guys, see you later. It's a little guy. Do you want to jump him? There you go. Let him spin. Good man. You know what you're doing.